Hi, my name is Alessandro Larker. I am a urologist working in San Rafaele Hospital in Milan. My uh, research interest is uh, kidney cancer. And from a clinical point of view, um, I'm focused on application of minimally invasive surgery in the field of uh, kidney cancer. The IRON study is an observational analysis comparing uh, uh, patients treated with robot assisted or open surgery for localized kidney cancer. And it is a very unique investigation because it, it is the result of a multi institutional collaboration involving all the centers in the world that are the very top players in the field of kidney cancer. Patients diagnosed with renal cancer and for the physician that will treat them. The EAU guidelines do not favor one approach over another for patients diagnosed with a localized renal cancer. And basically the choice of the approach is related to the personal preference, personal experience and personal skills of each physician. And this study, for the first time on a very large scale, provide specific information uh, relying on a very strong comparative analysis um, comparing the open versus robot-assisted surgery. And uh, the result of the study um, support the choice for robot-assisted approach over the traditional one. The strengths of the IRON study are, uh, number one, the um, sample size of the study population. We gathered information uh, of more than 4,000 individual patients diagnosed with kidney cancer. And this is a very impressive number. Uh, those patients were treated in different areas of the world. We evaluated patients treated in Europe patients treated in the US and patients treated in Asia. And so we were able to perform a global scale investigation. Most importantly, this is the study with the longest uh, oncologic follow-up. And this is extremely important when we want to evaluate the long-term consequences of our uh, decision-making. Is the study perfect? Of course not. The study has also some uh, relevant limitation. We are talking about an observational design. So uh, it is always possible with this kind of investigation to have unmeasured or un even unmeasurable um, confounding factors that are not accounted for in the study. Uh, we have tried to do our best relying on a very granular data collection system for example, we also gathered information about surgeon, the, the, the previous experience of each surgeon involved in the study. Uh, this is, on the other hand, one of the factors that is uh, very, very difficult to account for. And uh, we know that there are many other uh, human-related factors that are not taken into consideration in the study. Uh, for example, no uh, specific assessment of the learning curve of the uh, surgeons involved was possible, as uh, it was not possible to evaluate individual um, hospital-related factors. So is the study completed? Uh, definitely not. Uh, we have to work, uh, and the next step of our analysis uh, will be to try to fill the void of this limitation. And specifically, we are interested into the relationship between human factors and the patient's outcome. And uh, in this direction, we uh, are already performing a second analysis focusing on the learning curve of uh, the procedure, which is robot-assisted partial nephrectomy. Um, focusing on the relationship between the, how the uh, patient outcome evolve 
according to increasing surgical experience of the treating physician. 